this is by God's grace that you and I are alive. As we are to put God first in all we do, as our faith comes from the Lord, and true faith comes from the Word of God. For when we meditate and listen to His Word, as as it is written in Romans 10 verse 17 that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. I want to remind you that God loves you, God thinks about you, God cares about you and know that your strength comes from the Lord and the Lord is with you in whatever you are going through. If God is for us, then who can be against us? There's nothing greater than God. So, we are going to talk about talk about true faith in Christ. Now what does true faith in Christ mean? It means being faithful in the word of God and not faithless. You know it's 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 written in Genesis verse that if we are faithless, God is faithful. God is never faithless God is a faithful God and with God all things are possible we must work by faith not by sight so our verse is going to be in Hebrews 11 verse 1 it says now faith is confidence of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen faith is believing that things are going to happen you put your faith in God that he will help you in some you see our faith and hope should be in Jesus Christ and not the things of this world. As I want to give you a word of encouragement that remain in the word of God no matter what you're going through and know that the Lord is with you and he shall not leave you nor forsake you. No matter what you have done, it's wrong or anything, repent and live a holy and righteous life which honors God as we are to put God first in all we do stay blessed read your Bible preach the word of God to our mother that everybody may be saved pray for your family friends people that may return to Christ and live for Christ for true peace true love true happiness and true joy and all that is found in Jesus Christ the joy which we as Christians receive at the end can't be compared to the pain that we are encountering now. So stay blessed with your Bible. Pray. See you.